Hello students, and uh, welcome to this video. This is the uh, second part of Chapter 10, ANOVA, Analysis of Variance. So in this section, we're going to be testing three or more population means. So our null hypotheses will, will be written as, you know, the mean of population 1 equals the mean of population 2 equals the mean of population 3 and so forth. The alternate hypothesis is always written as such. The means are not all equal. <clears throat> the uh, test statistic. So we do this hypothesis process the same way as we've done other hypothesis um, processes where we um, calculate or we compare the test statistic to that critical value or that threshold value. The test uh, statistic is going to be found on the ANOVA summary output. The critical value is going to, could be found there as well, or we may have to actually go and find it by using the F distribution tables. It has two degrees of freedom, K minus one in the numerator and N minus K in the denominator. K represents the number of uh, populations we have, and N uh, represents the total number of observations in all of the populations. Alpha is given as our level of significance, and our key decision rule we have is to reject the null hypotheses if the test statistic is greater than the critical value, or we can use the p-value approach to reject the null hypotheses if the p-value is less than alpha. So in this example, we're looking at um, agricultural example. We have 22 young calves. They have been assigned at random to four experimental groups. So those are the populations. Those groups are based on uh, different diets with the assumption or hope that one of these diets produces bigger calves. Um, the data are the calves weight in kilograms after being raised on these diets for 10 months. Um, and is there a difference in the mean calf weights for all four diets? Which one of these diets is going to be better than the others? And we'll test at the 5% level of significance. Um, show you the data. Here's the data. This is uh, data that would be on the PowerPoint as well. So we have the four different treatments, four different diets. Uh, we're labeling them as feed one, feed two, and so forth. We have four calves. In the first feed group, we have seven calves. In the third feed group, and is there an overall difference in the average weight gained by and through these different diets? So what we do is we go into the on the data tab data analysis, um, single factor ANOVA. We highlight the labels plus all the data. Uh, we can make sure we click on labels in the first row. We can specify a degree of alpha. We're testing at 5%. So if we include that value, then the output is going to be based on um, that specific alpha value. And then we can go ahead and click OK which I have done. I have this output here. So let's just take a moment to um, understand what we're looking at. Here are the different uh, treatments or feeds or diets with the number of uh, calves in each of these different treatments or feed systems and the average weight gain. Let's just um, shade that in. Oops, not that. Let's shade that in like that. Hmm. Come on, work. So feed system one, the average weight gain or average weight of the cows is 86.4 kilograms. Feed four, not as much, 68.8. So is we know that there's a mathematical difference, but what we are concerned about is look to, to, to see if there's a statistical significant difference between any one of these feed systems. So we know our null hypotheses is that they are all equal. The averages from all the feed systems are all equal. The alternate hypotheses is what we are testing. We're testing to see if they are not all equal, or at least one is different. Um, next part is the uh, ANOVA analysis. This basically can be rewritten as treatments. And this is the error. Couple key values in here that we're going to need later on are highlighted in yellow. 
we don't need to concern ourselves about the other ones. But we're going to highlight this a little differently. We'll come back to that one. So this is our test statistic. Just going to write that up there. This is the one in previous chapters we have calculated. So this is 7.21. There is a calculation process for this, but we are more interested in um, analyzing, interpreting the results. We have a critical value of F as well. F, um, just going to type, that, type this in here, alpha, instead of using the symbol for that. And that is given to us at 3.16. Now, um, sometimes this value may not be given to you, may not be known. The critical value is 3.16. We can find that by looking at our F distribution table, which is right here. We're going to be looking at, let's make this a little bigger, um, the degrees of freedom in the numerator is K minus 1. We have four treatments, so we're looking at three degrees of freedom in the first for the numerator and n minus k is 22 cows or calves in total 22 minus 4 gives us 18 so we're looking at the intersection right there 3.16 and that is the value we have right there so based on the decision rule we are going to reject the null hypotheses we are rejecting it because 7.21 is greater than 3.16. We can also make our decision, the same decision, based on the p-value approach. The p-value is listed here as well, and it is listed at 0 0.0022. This value right there. Alpha, we specified it to be 5%. Our decision rule is to reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is less than alpha. p-value is less than alpha, so we will likewise reject the null hypothesis. So understanding what the null hypothesis is, we can go back here. Null hypothesis is that they are all equal. We have enough evidence to indicate that that is not true, that the means are not all equal. So maybe one or two of the means are different than the others. Oops. Let's go back to here. Okay, remember when we were finding the critical value, we used 3 and 18 degrees of freedom. The, the degrees of freedom can be found there as well. 3, um, k minus 1, and then um, n minus k for the uh, degrees of freedom in the, numer in the uh, denominator. 22 halves because there is our total there. So that's our n value. So we have made the decision to reject the null hypotheses, um, claiming that at least one of the feeds or diets are not equal to the others. In the second part of this video, we're going to look at trying to understand or trying to find out, determine which one of these feed systems is perhaps um, better than the other ones. And this is a decision we make only when, um, oops, only when the, the overall decision is to reject the null hypotheses.